Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program where things are slightly rockier than they were last time we were here. I think this stuff failed to load properly last time. We're still in the same place on dress and I've set all of this up. I did manage to break this thermal panel here while EVAing, which is exciting. But we do need to have Bill set up a flag here. He's not technically on the ground now, but there we go. He can set one up right now. And we're basically ready to leave here. We're already completely refueled, and I'll show you that once we get in here. But this is, of course, going to be called, all caps, THE FINAL FLAG. Perfect. There we go. And now we're ready for Bill to just head right on in. So up you go, Bill. And you can just hop in here. We're basically ready to leave. So let's hop inside. That would help. And at this point, we're going to need to retract our drill for all of these. We're full on ore right now, and we'll have to do something about that. So we'll retract our drills here. We're going to bring this on up. We're not bringing all of this home, though. We're going to be detaching that. Let's retract these radiators just to make sure that we have less impact points. There we go. That should be all good. This is going to break, almost certainly. And I just want to double check here. That is this guy. Okay, cool. So it looks good. I think we're ready to head home at this point. On this, our final episode of Viewer Contracts. Perfect. Let's take off here. And I want to ditch this basically immediately. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's going to blow some stuff up. That's fully expected. And off we go. Magnificent. So we're going to go over to Kill Rot here. And we're very slowly going to gimbal our way over to the horizon. I'm keeping an eye on our apoapsis site. Oh, I just wanted to verify for you guys. Yeah, the liquid fuel is completely full. And it did take a while indeed. We're just very slowly heading on over to the horizon. This is a lot of weight. And so we turn very slowly. We're going to burn out these outside tanks relatively quickly in 670 seconds. But our thrust to weight is absolutely golden, and we are heading home. Not on exactly the ideal heading, <laughs> but it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Okay, so we're in Kill Rot right now. And... We're just trying to make our way over to horizontal velocity up right now. 90 degree heading approximately is good enough. And we see that we're already at about 10 kilometer apoapsis. I think we'll push this up to about 30. It doesn't really matter. It's completely fine. So we're heading home. Beautiful. And of course, we're going to be bringing some of this stuff with us. By the way, if you're wondering why there's a missing photovoltaic panel here, I moved from character to character while moving this around and it just kind of vanished into the ether. So we have one fewer photovoltaic panel. It's a good thing we had spares, I guess. <laughs> so that's absolutely fine. I'm watching our apoapsis height here and we're currently chilling at about 14 kilometers. We definitely want that to continue to come up. I don't care about being at a 92 degree heading. That's good enough. But let's get some orbital speed going here. And we do have the fuel in this tank, which we probably want to burn out relatively soon, right? I actually feel like we want to burn that out now so that we're not carrying this fuel after we ditch these tanks. So we're going to move that fuel out of the X-232 tank in the center core here, and that'll be perfect. Is this currently open? It is. We should probably close that. Cool. Oh, hello. 130 kilometers. I was not paying attention. I probably should have been, but I absolutely was not. So we're continuing to move the fuel out of this center tank here so that that fuel will be gone by the time these detach. And really, we could move that fuel like into, into these now because this is all full. We've got a fair amount of coast time. So this is not really a problem at all. And we should have no issues moving this fuel in here. So, cool. There we go. There's all that fuel moved. So we don't have to worry about that anymore. 
It would flow out on its own, to be clear, but that would flow out after these were w would get empty, and I'd rather do it now. So that's absolutely fine. We're going to look to circularize here. And then we'll make our way on home from there. This is not going to be much DV to circularize. Wow. Okay. So that's like 50 DV. Beautiful. We'll head on over towards our node here. We've got like 8,000 DV to get home with. So that's really, really deeply not concerning in the slightest. Cool. So let's just get ourselves into position for this burn. There we go. And let's warp on forward. We're still rather low, so the fastest speed that it'll warp is kind of on the low side. I guess we can grab this data. And really, we can stop our time warp. Grab that magnetometer report, and we can open this guy back up. Just to pin open our experiment storage unit. Put that up there, and cool. We can have Bob EVA, since we apparently don't have this EVA report. And we can hop back in and collect all of that data. Now, we're not going to grab anything other than repeatable science, right? So that's fine. And let's commence our warp again. We should be warping a little faster now. And that's absolutely true. I'm just watching to see if we get a gravity scan that we don't already have. And so far, that's a negative. Okay. We're not going to go out of our way for that data, of course. But let's get into position for this burn, which is in about 40 seconds. And let's warp forward a little bit. 20 seconds. 10 and 3, 2, 1, 0, mark. Cool. So we'll circularize here. Not like this is going to take very much TV. 3.8 is our current thrust to it. Okay. I don't know. It feels like it's very, very low. This is good enough. We don't need to be more circularized than this. So at this point, we want to go towards the sun. So we'll add a maneuver over here and we'll just get escape velocity. Not like that's complicated to do. And we'll just drop down to being... Honestly, here is probably fine for a transit. Yeah, we'll call that good. So let's get into position for this burn. And as we burn more and more fuel off, and especially once we ditch these external tanks, we're going to have a lot faster turn speeds. Things are already improving on that front. So that's great. Should probably double check some of this stuff, but I'm sure it's fine. What could possibly go wrong? So we're going to warp on forward here, watching for additional... Oh, there was a very brief gravity scan there. Grabbed it. Okay, we'll collect that. Any other gravity scans as long as we're warping here? Yep, got it. We'll collect that. Actually, I'm not sure that that worked. Yeah, it didn't. Okay, so we have a duplicate one. I guess it's fine. I'm not too concerned about it. So we're going to continue to warp forward a little further as we get our escape velocity going here. Where is Dress? Hi, Dress. We are not going to be back for a while. It's kind of rare that people go to dress, with good reason. <laughs> it's just kind of a big ol' rock and nothing between Duna and Jewel. Two more interesting worlds, right? So off we go. And this is going to be about another 30 seconds of burn time here. We can warp forward. We're picking up a bit of a shimmy. That's interesting. This should be good enough. Cool. So now we're going to set Kerbin as our target. Our descending node is all the way over here. Wow. Okay. So at this point, we should just warp to about here and get an escape to make sure that we don't have any weirdness going on with our actual orbit, right? Goodbye, Dress. It was nice knowing you. Okay. It was kind of mediocre knowing you. <laughs> Dress is just kind of a thoroughly mediocre location, right? But there it goes, fading off into the distance. And it looks like we are indeed going to be five degrees off. Cool. And let's just get that inclination change done. Cool. 
So something along the lines of that, that's going to be about a 500 meter per second burn. Not too terrible, but that is a ways off in the future. Okay, that's quite a ways off in the future. So that's over a year out. We're going to have to coast for a while. Goodbye, dress. You don't appear to be going away as quickly as I expected. Oh, the game is frozen. Why is the game frozen right now? Well, that's exciting. Well, I do need to fade to black here anyway. So I guess we'll be back maybe after the game comes back. If not, I'll try to get back to this same location off camera. And I'll give you guys an update in just a moment. Oh, my pause button isn't working either. Cool. Okay, real quick update here. The game never unfroze. Luckily, we have an autosave here, which is right before our escape burn. So that should be absolutely fine. And I will be back once we are warped out of this system and we are ready for our inclination change. See you guys in a moment. Okay, so now that the game has been restarted, everything seems to be working correctly. We're now ready for our inclination change, which I think is going to be slightly more energetic than it was before, but that's fine. It's not a concern. So we're going to commence our burn here in just a few seconds. Four, three, two, one, zero, mark. Cool, so that'll be about a two minute burn. And we'll just head on through for this burn. No problem whatsoever. We're just going to match planes here and we can circularize. And if we don't have a good encounter, we will. But I'm reasonably, well, how circular are we really? We need to circularize like from the periapsis, not from the apoapsis. Okay, awkward. Well, we've overshot here. No doubt about that. That's okay. We're close enough. I kind of got distracted based on the uh, very non-circular orbit of dress. But we're only 0.1 degrees off. I'm not too concerned about it. So for now, let's see what this would look like if we were to just head in from the descending node. Okay, the timing isn't amazing, but actually it's not bad. We can do something potentially around here-ish. Yeah, there's definitely an encounter here. That's not bad at all. I like it. So this is going to be a pretty big breaking burn, no doubt about that. But we can bring this into like 100 kilometers and we've got more than enough to do a circularization and a very controlled re-entry. So we can bring this up a bit to counteract our slightly awkward overshoot that we just did. But that's fine and no problem whatsoever. From there, of course, we can bring this on in a little retrograde. Right around 100 kilometers. And we're definitely still a little low here. No doubt about that. Let's bring that guy right on up. That's a little too up. Sure. It's not perfect inclination-wise. That's for sure. But, I mean, I'm not expecting it to be, and it doesn't have to be perfect. Where is our maneuver node? There it is. I want to bring it down just a smidge. Yeah, this'll do. This will do. So let, let's align for that burn. That's going to be a 1,500 meter per second burn. Not a problem. We will have a pretty hefty amount of braking burn to do. Because our apoapsis is still going to be up here, right? And that's going to be a fair amount of speed that we're going to have to bleed off once we get here. But that's not a big deal. We've got so much Delta V here. We've got almost 8,000 Delta V, right? Look at this. Almost 8,000. It's insane. This thing can go literally anywhere in the Kerbin system. So that's wonderful. We're going to start this burn in about 224 days, which is awkward in terms of cutting out the time warp in, in the other side. It's just on the other side of this. So I'll see you guys in just a moment. So here we are, nearly to the end of this time warp. Fantastic. We've got about 30 days left on it. Jeb, Bill, and Bob are all very, very happy, though. They've got a full connection, well, a 56% connection for their Ketflix, which is honestly good enough. They are quite happy about that. We're going to warp forward a little further here and begin our breaking burn. We want to be fairly accurate 
with this breaking burn too. We're probably going to have to do a small correction. And commencing the burn now. Now this is gonna be almost a five minute long burn. So we are absolutely going to physics warp this one. There's no doubt about that. And we're going to have to burn off quite a bit of speed here. That's for sure. But it's not going to be so much that we're going to ditch our drop tanks. Like, this thing is so overbuilt for a dress mission. <laughs> I'm actually kind of shocked that we were as low as fuel on fuel getting there as we were, to be honest. This tank never got touched, but these were very, very low when we touched down. Now, we're not going to try to recover all of this. That would be ridiculous. Probably possible but ridiculous. We're not going to go for that. We're going to bring this thing down as planned, which is with this heat shield and just everything up here. So that'll be fine. We're almost certainly going to ditch our drop tanks in our orbital burn as we break right by Kerbin. But I'm actually shocked at how far these have gotten us. It's kind of insane. So that's wonderful. We've got about 200 meters per second to go in this burn. I'm going to take us out of the physics warp at this point because, like I said, I want to be quite accurate with this one. So we're going to zoom in over this direction. We've got about 100 meters per second to go on this burn. That's about 10 more seconds of burn time. Cool. Okay, I see it coming on in here. 21 meters per second here. So I guess we're going to have another encounter. Yep, indeed. Okay, uh, that's really close, and I, I have a bad feeling about this. Specifically. Oh, I managed it. Okay, this is good enough. We're going to stick at 110, and hopefully it doesn't move around like our dress encounter did. We're going to do a retrograde burn here and enter an orbit. We want to circularize this up. Cool. So something along the lines of this. That'll be absolutely fine. So that burn is going to be in over a year and will align for that burn. It's going to be a pretty lengthy time warp, no doubt about that. And it's going to be about a four minute burn. So we're definitely going to burn out our drop tanks here. That's great. And then we'll start dipping into these guys. Now we're going to have some spare fuel. There's no doubt about that. We're going to have a lot of spare fuel, actually. But that's okay. So we will align for the burn. There we go. And let's warp on forward. And I will see you guys in a little bit over a year. Good news! It would appear that we did not, in fact, have our orbit change on us when we entered warp. So that's phenomenal. Or if we did, it just changed a little bit. So that's absolutely wonderful. We're going to be heading on into the sphere of influence of Kerbin very, very soon here. As you can see, it should be towards the sun from us. I don't see it yet, but we're coming in from this direction. It, sh it should be maybe like over this. Oh, we're loading in, I think. I'm not sure where it is exactly, but we're definitely entering the... Hello. Hi, Kerbin. You came from a slightly different direction than I thought you were, but that's fine. So we're going to be commencing our breaking burn here in about 50 seconds. We have arrived home. And we're going to be burning as of 2, 1, 0, now. Beautiful. We'll be ditching our drop tanks, and the drop tanks will become space junk. Will they, will they actually be flung out of the system still, or will they be in orbit? I'm not sure which. I guess we'll find out. It'll take a bit before we're ready to know that, though. So let's warp on forward, and we'll take a look when we ditch our drop tanks. Actually, we could just hold on to them until they're definitely going to deorbit. It's not like we need the Delta V. You know what? We should probably just do that, just to prevent creating additional space junk. I mean, we're not in orbit yet. But we will be by the time they're ready to be dropped. So yeah, that's definitely the way to go here. So we've got a lot more Delta V to burn off here. Those drop tanks are now dry. Or actually, they're dry now. We're going to keep a hold of them for the moment. 
and we're just going to ditch them once they are like properly arrow captured, I think. So we're just going to bring this on in. The game is still confused about how much Delta V we have. I don't think we actually have 5,300, to be clear. We could try to figure out how much we actually have here. Let's just get ourselves into this proper orbit. We've got about 15 seconds of burn left here. And then we could move our fuel outward. Just to try to determine it. But I don't think it's actually worth it. That would take a while. We'd have to pin all of them open and it, it would be a whole thing. Okay. That'll do. Cool. So here we are back at Kerbin in a reasonable orbit, nearly 100 kilometers. Not quite 100, but nearly 100 kilometers. At this point, I'm going to retract our... So where are we in our orbit? We're here? Okay. Sometime around here, I want to start our descent. And we'll put it, a, put it at about 20 kilometers, I think. I just want to make sure that we're going to be coming down day side. And we can burn additional speed off if we really feel like we want to. We probably don't. Honestly, we're probably best off just ditching all of these stages once we're properly in Atmo. We do still have one Gigantor open here. I'm going to retract this Communitron. This Gigantor will keep us afloat power-wise for a bit. Not like we're going to have any power issues. But we'll just warp on around, and we'll commence this 79.5 meter per second burn to deorbit. And we'll just leave no space junk, other than what we left on dress and on the way... Did we leave anything on the way to dress? No, none of that was in orbit yet. So the only space junk that this mission actually left was the mining rig on dress. And I suppose the, the science equipment that we left there. Which is, of course, fully intentional. So we're going to commence this burn in just a couple seconds here. Right now, in fact. Let's retract this solar panel. It's no longer necessary. And we can officially ditch these tanks anytime we want to. Wow, 0.0? .0? Kind of nailed that. Cool. We're going to go to surface velocity minus here. I'm going to ditch these side tanks. There we go. Do we want to keep these guys around? Honestly, we shouldn't. We should not try to, to salvage this. Unless we wanted to commit to it. Like, really commit to it right now. In which case, we should just start burning the moment we hit Atmo. And maybe that's our best bet. I really like the way that these all detached. That's, that's neat. Okay, so let's warp on forward here. Should we try it? 0 0.89. We're already below 1.0 thrust to weight. So that's spooky. I think we shouldn't try it. Let's not risk it. Well, what does it matter? This is the last episode. If we go out with a bang, maybe that's not a bad thing. I'm actually surprised how far we had to go before we hit atmosphere. Okay. So let's get into position here and let's commence this burn cool what could possibly go wrong I'm sure it'll be fine I'm noticing this wiggling around I'm going to take us out of physics warp it'll probably be a lot better now yeah and we can see we're already going relatively slowly our impact biome is currently deserts, and are we going to be coming down on land just kind of period? Not necessarily. I think it's much more likely that we end up coming down in this water here. Yeah, we're not going to be hitting this land, I don't think. A water landing is absolutely the ideal location. So that would be good. We are not going to be firing this, I guess. And we would need our drogue shoots to be usable. We're just burning off everything we can here. I'm noting that this is up to 0.98. So, I mean, that's good. 0.99? As our mass decreases, I mean, yeah, that will happen. I'm not loving our current velocity. And how slowly it's going down. 
There's some of that. But our thruster weight is picking up here. And technically, we could suicide bird, but that seems terrible. That seems like a really bad idea. We're not going to do that. We're just going to keep burning here. I really don't like our speed. Okay. I'm ditching them. I don't think we can recover that. I'm aborting that. It's probably possible, but not with this not with this ascent trajectory, or rather descent trajectory. So we're going to come down with our our mass much, much lower and our heat shield actually doing things. And that'll be great. We tried, but I chickened out. Okay, drogues are going to be soon. Funnily enough, this shoot is apparently safe to deploy already. But we're going to do drogues right now. There we go. No problem with the drogues. And out go the mains. Phenomenal. So from here, it's very safe down to the surface. I guess we can grab an atmospheric analysis. Why not? There we go. And 10 meters per second is actually slightly speedy, but we shouldn't have any problems. We'll have to go through so many layers before we end up losing our command pod. Hopefully we don't lose our service bay here, but I think we'll be fine at 10 meters per second. It's a slightly hard splashdown, but knowing the speed that we're coming down with the parachutes like this, I'm glad we didn't try to bring down the nuclear engines. That would have been problematic. Yeah, we're okay here. So no real problem whatsoever there. We tip on over. That's to be expected. Let's recover this vessel, and we'll see what we got in terms of science from Dress. That's going to be quite a lot. And this is, of course, the final episode of this series. Next series will be something new entirely. I don't know what it is yet, but I have questions out to the council members, the, the, the channel members of rank council member. And we'll see if they come up with anything interesting. If not, we'll see what I can come up with should be something it'll definitely be something but what i don't know i don't know so let's load on in here see what we've got we got 3100 science on the dot from that okay cool and of course we can hop into our admin building and we can just commit all of our science to funds done we got a tiny amount of cash from that wonderful <laughs> And with that, it is time to put a cut in here. Of course, we've got all these screen messages and such. There's all that going on. That is fine. It is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next time, this is going to be something completely different in this time slot. Maybe KSP2? I don't know. I, I, I don't feel like that's great content right now because it's all sandbox. We'll see. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Atala, Shadow Wolf, and Lohan80, Rogue Corvid, Andy Magar, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman12 UK, Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time. I don't know why I just quick saved the game. We're not coming back to it, but whatever. <laughs>